Greetings, Bible nerd. Neighborhood Christian comic artist, artsy Bible nerd. Coming to you live from my basement. Drawing page number 22 of Joseph, favored son of Israel. Israel, Israel, Israel. Maybe I should get an echo. Maybe I should get a uh, some sound uh, effects here for my computer. So, speaking of my computer and things that uh, I've that I want to have on it. So I made a promise. I made a, a bold statement that I was going to be able to show my face uh, very soon. Uh, that is not the case because unless I want to use OBS uh, instead of Streamline Stream. Uh, what do you call this? Slobs. Uh, it's called Streamlabs for OBS. Uh, that that app, that plugin, does not work for Streamlabs. It only works for OBS. So I have just now learned how to use Streamlabs. So maybe I should learn how to use OBS. I don't know. I don't know. But for now, I'm still the unknown comic artist. See what I did there? Unknown comic artist. I just made that up on the fly. I, I did not write that previously beforehand. That just came out. I'm a comic genius. See? Comic. Comic. Hmm. Maybe I should do something about that. Maybe should, that should be my running gag. Not only do I make comics, I am a comic. Let's make this mustache a bit darker. So uh, I have noticed on the YouTubes that my uh, my my drawings on how to make art have done pretty well. Um, so well that I think I should continue making those those videos. I did not expect the videos to do so much better than uh, my Bible comic making, my videos of me actually making art. Maybe I should be a little bit embarrassed. Maybe I should be a little bit... Uh, So you want to learn how to make your own art, but you don't want to look at me making my art. I see. I get it. I understand. I I see what you're what you're putting down. Hmm. So, what to do? What's a boy to do about shaving teeth? I think this is the best way. I think these hatch lines are the best way, given the circumstances, until I learn a better way. Oh, you know what? I forgot to paint his gums. So, the last time that I talked to you about church, uh, I think I talked to you about how I had to, or felt like I had to leave my previous church. Uh, so I did that and dragged my family into that decision as well. Uh, I thought they were behind me, but it uh, turns out that they were just talking about <laughs> being behind me. Um, but uh, the update is uh, we have started going to, started attending. Not members yet, but started attending a new church. And uh, not only that, but what makes it even better is that we know people from our previous church who attend this church. So my, it was my wife who came up with uh, this church because she she knew that some people were were going there. 
that we knew already. Uh, let's see. Oh, so we went there, and I was there this time because uh, my son was sick and my wife had to stay with my son, so it was just me attending this week. Sorry to my poor wife who did not get out of the house with her sick child. So I went to lunch with those members of the church that I know from previous, from before, and <clears throat> asked them a bunch of questions. I didn't even have to start answering the question, asking the questions before the <laughs> like the hardest thing was getting the, the answers down. I was feverishly writing notes like I was back in college, like I was studying for an exam. There were four people there at lunch. I only had Two questions. My wife had two questions as well. And we were there for quite a long time, quite a bit of time. So uh, I started going to the church uh, three weeks ago, I think. I think this is the fourth service that I've attended so far. Um, so they have been in the middle of finding a new worship leader, a new, in my previous church, I would have called them a uh, music minister, the music ministry, the, the song leader. What they call it here is a worship leader. Tomato, tomato. But uh, they found their new worship leader, and so the, the previous times that I've gone there, uh, I had the songs were good, the, the songs were fine, the songs were not what I was used to. But uh, the song ministry was uh, not the, the reason that I came back. Let's say it nicely. That's the nicest way I can say it. But since then, they've hired a new a new worship leader, and. Uh, the songs were more passionate, but <laughs> they have changed genre. Uh, you know, they used to be Christian contemporary on a certain demographic radio station, and after this new song leader, worship leader, uh, they've become more gospelized, gospel, gospel music. And I thought I would not like it. I thought I'm, I'm not usually a gospel listener. It was not horrible. It was not horrible. It was the same songs, just a different feel. Same worship songs, just a different feel. All right, Simeon, with your beard. So what did I learn today? There is something I learned today about